Hi and welcome to today's live stream from Logosol. Uh, today we are going to... Why did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Hi. Hi. Uh, welcome. Uh, today we are going to have a special uh, live stream. Uh, we have invited a person that's uh, never used a sawmill before or a band sawmill. Uh, so we're going to be milling on the B751 Pro, Pro with an 18, 18 horsepower uh, petrol engine, a Vanguard engine. So that's going to be fun, and I hope you will uh, find it interesting as well. If you want to know more about Lugosol and our products, uh, you can find all prices and information online. Just go to lugosol.com. Uh, and if you want to sign up for our newsletter, you can also do that there. And uh, if you do that, you will be, um, yeah, you will have the first newsletter will include the uh, digital customer magazine from Logosol, and then you will get a newsletter once a month with some more uh, inspirational content from Logosol and special offers, special offers uh, product information, new products, mm -hmm. and so on. We have done live streams uh, this year uh, very much, yes. <laughs> very many, yes. a lot of them. Uh, we made uh, over 70 live streams, yeah. uh, and it's been great. And I hope you think that too. Uh, if you want to see our previous ones, if you missed them, I mean, we really hope you've seen all of them. But you uh, can look at them again. again. <laughs> but you and can again, look at them again and again. And again. <laughs> again and again and again. Uh, if you go to Facebook uh, and uh, what, what we call them on Facebook, we're called uh, Logosol Portable, Portable Sawmills. Yes. If you search for that on Facebook, you will find our Facebook page. And there you can find all uh, previous live streams. And you can also go to YouTube, uh, where we're also Logosol Portable Sawmills where you can also find, I mean, not all the live streams, but you can find a lot of uh, movies as well, or videos from Logosol on certain products and stuff that we do here at, at Logosol. Yeah. <sighs> and we will continue with this live stream. Yes, live yes, of, of the course. Whole the whole winter. Uh, as you probably can see, it's, no, you can't see, it's, it's very light here. Uh, but it's it's uh, getting dark outside here in the north part of Sweden, uh, and we actually we're actually on the roof for yeah. the first time ever, not ever, but for the first time uh, during uh, the live stream season. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it actually rained and um, was kind of windy before, but now it's it's uh, cleared up. So it's good to be. So this is probably where you will see us uh, during the whole winter. Uh, demoing different <laughs> every every single day yeah. no but uh, once a week when we do our live streams we'll be here so uh we'll we do two live streams every week and you can find the live stream schedule on uh, lugosol.com if you go to exhibitions i think we planned live streams for november i'm not sure about december yet but we will uh, keep doing them yeah. Perhaps we will do a Christmas special. Absolutely. <gasps> With bloopers. Yeah. So take care. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> or not. So, uh, but uh, enough with that. Uh, Karin will be uh, watching the chat, both on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. So if you have any questions during the live stream, just ask them in the chat. And uh, we will try to, depending on the type of question, if it's a question... Uh, that's got to do something with what we're doing right now. Uh, we'll try to answer them right away, I think. And then mm. other questions we will leave till the end of the live stream and uh, answer them then. So, and we've actually invited a guest yes. today. Anders. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is the person I was talking about <laughs> before. <laughs> he haven't run a sawmill before. So, uh, today is... Excited. Uh, oh, good. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a premiere. Yeah. It's going to be great. So, uh, Anders, uh, you can introduce yourself. Yes, uh, Anders is my name. Um, what else should I say? Not, not work, working as a, like a computer engineer person, so I'm not that used to these type of machines. But, um, no, yeah, but it's, we'll it's, it's easy. Yeah, You'll it's like, see. Uh, like a computer. Yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> this computer is easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's zeros and zeros yeah, exactly. and ones. Zeros and ones. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Mm. So let's get started. We have the Bansom mail. I'm not gonna turn my back against uh, the cameras just yet. We got some feedback that we were like, okay, yeah, looking this way. So, <laughs> so uh, we have the B751 Pro here. Uh, the B751 can handle logs up to 75 centimeters in uh, diameter, so it's quite big, mm -hmm. and it can cut the board width of 60 centimeters. Uh, uh, this one has got an 18 horsepower Vanguard engine, uh, a petrol engine, four stroke, uh, but we also sell it with uh, three phase electric motors uh, for the European market. It's uh, three phase 400 volt and 50 hertz. Uh, and we don't have any special equipment on this machine today, so it's a standard B751 Pro. What is Pro? Uh, Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, uh, the Pro is, we have two different B751 models. We have the regular B751, uh, which has got a, a bit, um, a simpler rail system. Oh, okay. So you can't attach as much accessories as you can on the B751 Pro. So it's the same mm. type of saw head, okay. saw unit, uh, but the rails and the log, uh, the cross banks, uh, mm. the log beds, are the same as we're using on the B1001, our biggest okay. Okay. band okay. So that's, uh, that's the main differences. So as you can see here, it's a, it's a rigid uh, steel tubing, mm. uh, 3D laser cut. So it's divided into sections and you can, you can actually see the joints here. Mm. So you can actually extend it as well. Uh, so you can make it as, as long as you as you require. So uh, if we move over to this side, we're going to take a look at the bandsaw mill itself or the saw head. We have the lifting crank. So for lifting and mm -hmm. for lowering, and it's got a. Okay, so it's got you can... a small um, hatch there that actually catches the saw head in one eighth increments. So one full turn is one inch. One inch. Mm -hmm. And we've the, we've divided the uh, the full turn into eight. So that is, and that's why the that is why so that's because the saw blade. The kerf mm. is about an eighth of an inch. Ah, okay. So, so, so one, one hack is one, one, is one uh, kerf. Okay. Mm. And we got the integrated uh, cooling tank. So that's for, for water. And it actually acts as, um, as a stabilizer for the saw head. So it's an aluminum tank. And we have the valve for turning the water on and off here. So you're going to be using that in mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. And the water is mainly for cooling, cooling and, and for, I mean, lubricating. It doesn't, uh, the resin doesn't stick to the blade as well when you put water on it, to it. Uh, so that's it, basically. But before we start, we're going to have a look at what to, what we're going to do. And... This is actually a, a can that we've been milling before. Mm. So I've been cheating a little bit. <laughs> so what, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a can at a certain mm. width, 10 inches. And then if we go out from the, from the center, it should be approximately five inches on mm. the center and then five inches out, down and five inches up. So that, that will be the, the width of the, of the boards. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start at 10 inches. Okay. Or actually we can use the saw head to measure 10 inches. Mm. And then we will move up one inch and make one cut, go down and cut again. And then we'll have our 10 inch cant. But that's to get the center in... in uh... Like that. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. So that's why you cut two. Hmm? 
And I mean, if you, if we then turn it up, mm. we can just start yeah. slicing yeah. it up into proper boards mm. or planks. So we're actually going to do two inch uh, planks in this. So, uh, we are going to zero out the saw blade on 10 inches just to actually use the, the saw blade as, as a reference. So you can turn the crank and turn it down to 10 inches. This scale here is the absolute scale. So this is what you have below the saw blade. Okay, yeah. so you have there is zero, so they have 18 inches. Yeah, right now the saw blade okay, is, yeah. is mm, at 18 mm, inches mm. above the, uh, mm, the cross mm, spine. Mm. So if we go down to 10 inches, now you have to push it in quite hard. So this is, that's yeah, so that's, that's where we're going to end yeah. milling and then turn the cant mm. up. So, but now we want to take... So we want to divide it in two there. Yeah, mm. so we'll go up one inch. And as you can see there, you have the four. Okay, so that's, this, that's the... So this doesn't say anything other than, I mean, you have one to eight here. Mm. So if you go to from four, four to four. Is it right? Yeah, yeah. that's the right way to four, yep. then, then we have one inch, and then we take another increment for, for the curve. Okay. Like that. So now, mm. uh, basically, I mean, we, we've been milling this log before, yep. so we're mm. going to disregard that it's a bit thicker on top. But, but we, okay, mm, yeah. So, but the next one will be one inch mm. between the, the cant mm. that we're mm. leaving and the- And it's not enough to cut one more. One more. Oh, we can, we can try. Raise it up uh, from five to five, and then one extra for the curve. Okay, yeah, you need to do that for each for yeah, each exactly. for mm -hmm. each cut. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this this will be a thin it's too thin. Yeah, so we'll we'll go back down again. Mm -hmm. and then it's back to five. Exactly. Yeah, like that. And now we're almost ready to start cutting except that we can see that the mm. the adjustable blade guide is actually crashing into the log so there's a small knob over there that you can pull out and then pull the adjustable blade guide out a bit more so, i think yeah, okay. yeah like that now it, it goes free everywhere you and the, the un no, it <laughs> no, it looks like it will go free or all, all the way. Does it matter if it's too wide, you should say? How do you mean? Uh, I can, to be sure. I mean, you can, you can widen it, yeah. but you then want... Then it's like moving more. Yeah, okay. you, you mm. want to keep it as close to the, the log as possible okay. to prevent the blade from start mm -hmm. moving. Mm -hmm. So closer is better, and yeah. you can actually, if we're start if we start milling now and go over to the end and the log is wider mm. you can actually stop pull it Change out it. a bit okay. and mm. then continue milling mm. so there's no no risk in in doing that okay yeah so other than that it's a we have a question yes we have about the water yes uh, how long on average would the water last uh, the tank is so the tank is here. Okay. The mm. tank is here. Yeah. So it's it's integrated. Mm. It's uh, yeah, as you can see. Yeah, it yeah, stabilizes nice. the uh, the saw head, and it acts as an integrated tank as well. Mm. Uh, it will last you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it depends on how much water you're using. Mm. Mm. If we are milling like like we do now, this is these logs are pretty green, fresh, mm. cut which means that we don't need a lot of water. Okay. Mm. Um, so then I can't remember the tank volume. Five liters, 10, eight. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we have the man behind the scenes that's helping me out. Eight <laughs> liters. 
uh, fits in the tank of the B751 and the B751 Pro. Uh, thank you very much, Anders. So, and that will probably last you half a day at least when you're milling normally. And if you turn and turn, turn on and off the valve for each cut. Mm. If you forget to turn it off, of course it will, it will pour out some water, but it's not a big deal. And uh, a question we, uh, we often get as well is how do you do during the winter? Hmm. And it's always, mm. it's always good. But it's, I mean, if you're keeping it outside during the winter, which most of, most of our customers do, uh, it could be good to put in some antifreeze, such as, um, what do you call it? Wind, windscreen washer fluid? Yeah. Something? <laughs> Rather that than uh, ethylene glycol or... <gasps> yeah. Mm? Wind washer fluid antifreeze. Antifreeze, yeah. Mm. That's good. Yeah. That's like alcohol. Do so, we have uh, time for one more yeah, question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go um, while we're at it. What is the max cut distance from the blade to the saw head? From the blade to the saw uh, A bit more than eight inches between the... If I... Oh, if the, I the maximum... The maximum size from the saw blade and oh, up, yeah, 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 okay. up mm, to the... Mm. Um, to the motor position, basically. So like this. Yeah. Yeah. So this. The, the gap in there, yeah. That's a bit more than eight inches. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And perhaps we could repeat what type of bandsaw are we using? Uh, today we are milling on a B751 Pro with an 18 horsepower Vanguard petrol four-stroke engine. Yes, thank you. With electric start. Ah. Uh, which Anders is going to demonstrate. A great setup. Really good, popular yeah, setup. It's mm -hmm. a really good heavy duty motor that will last you a lifetime. So, I mean, to start it, it's just like a car. You have the ignition and then you turn it on. Uh, you turn on the water by pulling that lever mm -hmm. and then the gas the gas throttle, mm. full speed ahead, and mm. then a slow pace through the log. It's difficult to say how much you should or shouldn't push, but... Uh, you get the feeling. You get the, you get <laughs> the feeling for it. Uh, I told uh, the demo we had in Swedish before, I said to Tina that normal walking pace but she didn't agree with me. <laughs> it was slower. Okay. It mm -hmm. wasn't her normal walking pace, at least. <laughs> so, so um, mm -hmm. take it uh, take it a bit slow mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. get a feel for it. It's better to have slow than, uh, than or fast. What, what, what's, yeah, that's the, what's the drawback with the going? The drawback with going too fast is that you can you the, the blade it isn't able like to cut. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it will start moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm through the log and you don't want that. So it's better to slow than than Yeah, better than to go slower than mm. faster. Exactly. But you know what? Uh, we're going to do something else before we start. It's not really necessary, I think, for this. It's quite heavy. It won't go anywhere. Oh, okay, but we are going to fix it with the log clamps. So you have one log clamp over there. Uh, so just put it in a hole where you have a an appropriate distance to the log and then you use the big yeah you can you can actually have have quite a lot of space okay. and then you take up the slack with the big disc and then you just follow along with the handle like that perfect uh, what type of saw blade are we using Today. Today we're using the uh, standard spring steel saw blade. Mm. And we have three types. Uh, we sell the standard blades, uh, which come with the sawmill, and they can be resharpened. We also sell the HSS blades, uh, which are bimetal blades, and they are a bit more durable 
they last longer, they can withstand heat better. And they can also be resharpened. And then we sell the carbide tip blade, which actually lasts you uh, not a lifetime, but <laughs> that would be a bit overkill. Uh, but it will last you several days of milling, perhaps weeks, depending on how much you're milling. Uh, um, but you can't resharpen the carbide blade. Uh, so you have to change it when it's when it's dull and it, I mean it, it will last you a long time and the the gain by using a blade like that is that it's very good for exotic hardwoods and if you're using it for normal softwood or hardwood you can actually use it for a long time you don't have to pause and, and change the blade when it's time to sharpen you can just keep on using it as long as you're careful with it, the, the tips are fragile, so don't drop it or damage the tips. But other than that, they are um, really amazing to use. And the surface you get with the carbide tip plates are uh, really almost like plain wood. And when you're cutting hardwoods, it's, it's a really nice surface. So, we're ready to go. And I forgot to show you about the... This, this red Market dot, the marker here, it's, it's what we call a last cut indicator. So whenever you're milling, going with the saw head over there, and if you leave the boards on the, uh, on the cant, you can actually go ahead and mill through. Then you lift the saw head up, pull it back, mm -hmm. and you know, where was. you know where your last cut was. And if you don't have something like that, you have to go down and, I mean, you, uh -huh. have, you have to remember where you were. And we, we all know how, how easy that is to like, <laughs> yeah, uh, 11 Point. and an 8. Mm. Was that and this then, time or the and then time? when you're milling, you're like, yeah, shit, where were I? So it's, it's really, really good. Or you can actually but, go but down and put the blade on the previous, oh, mm. this was it. But so it's really easy to get back and find the, the previous cut and then go down from there. Excellent, because it goes you can. So every mm. time you lift it up. And then I have the old marker. Yeah, you mm. have the old marker there. Just to I give you. Fine. Yeah, mm? to give you an idea of where. So really nice, I mean, it's a small thing, but it, it mm. makes a big difference when you're milling a lot and you just need a reminder. Mm. Ah, where was my previous cut? So you mm. go down to that, and then you know this is where I cut the last time, and then I, I go down from there. So, but now we're ready. Mm? So, protection gear on. Huh? And start. Start. And the water on. Then you can turn it on, off. Mm -hmm. Too slow, or? No, I mean... Slower than walking, I, walking speed, but... <laughs> We're just going to put it yeah. over there. So... How do you uh, get it? I was thinking, how do you get it, like... 
like the um, to get the right um, angle, so to say. No, these uh, we yeah we have the log supports over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they are actually adjustable. But now it's just uh, so, so it's when yeah, you cut that I mean, that cut. Then. Now mm -hmm. I mean the previous cut when we turned that down. Yeah. Then that's you get the, it. That's the flat mm -hmm. surface. Mm -hmm. And then we, uh, when we set it up the first time, yeah. we set the, the saw blade parallel to the oh, to, to uh, adjust it to the cross the the first, uh, hmm. So that is, I mean, that's what we're using now. This mm. is just a support so that yeah. the log. So then, it's when, when if I want to cut it, um, this then then you need to have it like exactly. Uh, so when straight. we turn mm. it up, yeah. we're going to rest it against these mm. log okay. rests. Mm. And then it's important that the log rests are 90 degrees. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was fine. And they mm. are adjustable here in the bottom. You have an eccentric okay. plate, mm. so you can so loosen you can, that can and adjust Adjust it. the angle you want to. Exactly. Mm. And most of the times you want 90 degrees. Yeah. So, and we actually, Fe we, we yeah. cleared, cleared it. And as you can see now, now we're actually just pulling the blade on the previous mm. cut. Mm. You can see that it picks up the sawdust yeah. on the way back. That's really good because that shows us that the cut straight. was yeah. straight and nice. Mm. Uh, so we're going to do one more cut here. And now, I mean, since we took away the, the slab and didn't lift the saw head, so it, now it's, it's, just adjusting it's one. still mm. sitting on the same height. So now we'll go down one, uh, one turn. And one plus one, yeah, exactly. I, exactly, because then it's uh, mm, 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 mm. yeah, because we're we're using the bottom as the blade as a reference, yeah. and because we go down one inch, you want to tap. We we have we have yeah. the saw blade cutting mm. into that inch, so we need so to you, compensate you need for that. Compensate for the bottom of the blade to the top of the blade. Exactly. Mm? By one, one, one. Yeah, now we're good to go again. Yep. Living, that on was the, close. <laughs> living on the edge. Uh, you can turn on the turn yeah. off the water. Uh, yeah, and we'll take the saw head back here. Should I turn it up or no? Yeah, you can you can lift it up. It doesn't doesn't matter where we remove yes, the. I don't. Ah, okay, but now it's it's okay, yeah, it's, be, it's, mm -hmm. it's above the yep. the log. Now I should remember what. Yeah, I know where we were from the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because we're going to tilt the uh, okay. uh, the cant up because now the now cant. It, on the other. it should be the last cut we did should be on ten inches. So now we have a cant that's ten inches high. Mm -hmm. Or soon, soon it will be wide when we turn it up. Uh, I think that we loosen the clamps and we'll uh, remove them for now. And then we're going to change the log support to the to the taller ones because the okay, the, can, the, the cant mm. is quite large. So when we tilt it up, we need. More support on the on the edge. Put it on. Put it on number two. Mm. And then 
No, it's no, you, it's that that's fixed. It it should be, it should be adjusted already. Mm -hmm. And then we'll we'll just push it against the supports. Oh, you can do that. And then so turn it up. And I'll just secure it here. Like so. And then before we secure it over here, we're actually going to compensate for the taper in the log because here we have 18 inches and over here we have 16 okay to get uh, to get the, the lowest the, lowest no yeah to, to get the center of the log oh, okay. level mm -hmm. 18 16 that's 2 inches divided by 2 so one, one. <laughs> one. Engineer. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to lift it up one inch, and there are several ways ah, to do it. To get it. Um, hmm? Hmm? So hmm? one way of doing it is putting the, the saw head here and lift the saw blade one inch up and just lift it hmm? until it okay, you have hits a... the saw blade. But we can, I think we can eyeball it. So exactly, you pull that out. Lift it up, yeah, like that. And then we can clamp it on here as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oops, ah, okay. Sorry, now, now it's fixed. Like that? Yes. And then, and then follow like along. That. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And now we, we've compensated a little bit for the taper, uh, which means that the, the center of the log should be more level mm -hmm. or parallel to the... To get less... To get less waste. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're actually going to make one or two cuts up here to remove the... Mm -hmm one off cut and perhaps one board or plank and then we're going to turn it around again 180 degrees so this is basically now just eyeballing it a bit so if you raise the saw head A bit more, perhaps. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we'll make one cut first, then and then we'll. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we should lower it a little bit. Lower it. Yeah. Or? No, I think this this is okay. this is good. This mm -hmm. is perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we can we can slide in the um, okay. mm -hmm. adjustable blade guide. You can probably put it in on the closest position. It should click in place. <laughs> mm. And now, I mean, since there's a straight surface, yeah, we, we know it's, no. if, it's, if it goes past this place, mm. it will go past all the way. Already it. then? Yes. Hmm?
I, as you can see, we could have we could have taken a bit a cut a bit higher up. Okay. Since I mean, this is the beauty of having your own sawmill. You can actually decide what to if you want to. So you uh, could have a. Uh, I mean, it this if you had a bigger um, mm, bark mm, side mm, on mm. on the this plank doesn't, here, doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't matter mm. really if you're building something yourself. So, but still, uh, really good. And we'll put this on this side. You need to be two to, to do this, or? Two? Two people. No, I mean, you can just yeah, in this shove it down yeah. and then take care of it afterwards. Mm. So now we'll go back and we'll make a two inch uh, board or plank. So it's it's just as two, easy two. as before. So go go past six. One. Yeah. Two. And then, and one. then one extra. Yes. Hmm? So now we'll have a two inch, two by ten inch plank. Now the what? Yeah, the water is on. Hmm? Should we go? Yeah. So this is, we can put it over there. So this is the first, first real board yep. we're actually getting out of it. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So we'll uh, take the oh. saw head back. Do we have any questions, Karin? Yes, we have. About the motor. About the motor. Uh, can the mill be equipped with a single phase 220 volt motor? Uh, nothing that we offer. I don't think it answered the question, but the uh, motor options that we have are three phase 400 volt 50 okay. hertz motors. A follow up on that or a phase converter? A phase converter would work, yes. Yes. So now we're going to uh, loosen the clamps. Okay, to turn it. To turn it, mm -hmm. and we're actually going to have to put down the, the tow board as well. Start, start by lowering the tow okay. board, this one. Yeah. And then we'll take it to this this side. Just put it down mm. flat. And remove the log supports because now we don't have any use for them. So we'll push it a bit over there and then just raise it up again. As you can see, there's a small okay, yep. edge yes. there. To, to get it towards. Yeah, and, and this is the, the finesse, is when we put it against that edge and we put the log clamps in the bottom position, we can actually go, cut, all, the, all, the go all the way down and make, uh, uh, these are as low as, so you can actually go do a one inch board in the bottom. Oh, okay. Uh, but we're going to end with the two inch board. Mm. So you can use the complete. 
the complete height. Yeah. So now we don't have to do anything else than just cut, <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut away. One more question. Yes. How do you know it's leveled left to right? Uh, left to right. I don't know, like that, or. I mean that that side that we have fixed, we have fixed positions from the on the side of the cross spikes. So we know that this side is always the straight straight side. And then these uh, these um... yeah these these log rests mm. help you with aligning the log. So you always align the log on the towards the log rests and it rests on at least two uh, cross banks or log beds. So you have two surfaces that you use as your reference surface all the time. So that's the, the minimum, what's the minimum? Yeah, uh, the minimum length is 120. Okay. So that's the shortest you mm -hmm. can, you mm -hmm. can mill. And then you and can then do the a lo a long, as long as you as long as you, you require. You yeah, <laughs> you have you buy you, just you, you just it. buy extensions and just mm -hmm. add it on. Mm -hmm. And we, the, ha yeah, we have a, we actually have a few customers that have really long bandsaw mills. Okay, twelve or fifteen meters long to to make okay. massive beams. Yeah. Uh, and now we're actually going to use the scale. So instead of calculating. Of course, we could have used the uh, uh, a tape measure or something and just measure uh, from the bottom and up, and you know, but now we two can inch use plus the one eighth, and then four inch plus. Uh, I mean, you can add the curve all along, mm. but but the, you need to add the you need to add the blade for it. Yeah, but the the really cool thing here is actually that we can use this scale here on the side. Uh -huh. Is that adjusted for? Yeah, you can, you can actually... This one is the absolute scale, mm. which should be set so that the saw blade is this distance from the cross banks. And this you can actually adjust. Mm, okay. But now we want to end, so we want to have them on the same zero point, mm. which means that if we want to make two inch boards here, we need to hit one of these marks mm basically now when we make the first cut and then we will know we can continue milling so this the distance between each mark here on the two inch uh, side is actually two, two. inches and, and, uh, and, and an eighth, eighth. Mm. yeah so then we'll so know th we can end that is adjusted to the to the to the curve to the curve yeah so if we will follow the one inch we know that we will mm. end on a one inch uh, board so but we're going to try and hit the two inch mark and just see where I mean okay, if, the, the so if you go a bit lower, lower perhaps you can see that will make a big so over there so there we have like two inches hmm? yeah and of course we could go down but then we'll have to go down another two inches but still we will get almost a, a ready board after this this off cut then you could do that, uh, like cut that on the other. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you exactly. To, to but this it. this will probably do. But that's when you're doing two inch. It's quite big steps. Yeah. If so we, you don't if, want to waste that no, two inches. No. If mm. if we're doing one inch, you can probably take a bit more yeah. to get a, a better board at the mm. end. So we'll see how it goes. But if we start milling now, we can see directly on the scale that we will get one, two, three, four, five, two inch. Uh, boards or planks out of this. Oh. So we'll uh, hit it. Hmm?
And I mean, as you can see now, of course, this next, this next, next plank will have some, some defects on the side. Mm. But of course, it depends what you're going to use it for. If you want to use this in, in some sort of construction, standing or something, mm -hmm. it, it's perfectly fine to use it. And this is what I was talking about by having your own mill. Yeah. This actually but doesn't matter. But, no, and, but of it's... course, for, a, for something that should mm -hmm. be carrying a load, perhaps it's not very good. You want something that looks more like the, mm -hmm. the previous but you, you uh, can plant. use it for something else. Or exactly. It's better to have uh, like something than, than, than just wasting than everything. Than just waste, complete, yeah. waste it and, and just mm -hmm. uh, throw it away. Cool. So, uh, so then it's like uh, quite easy to just continue. Now we're, so just now we're there and we're going down to the next so we don't even have to use the... Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Now you can use the last cut indicator, or not use it, mm. but you can have it as a reference. You can just uh, lift it up to, I mean, at least, oh, okay, two, to at least two and a half turns. Then we can pull it back and go down again. So above that one. Yeah, so that's, then you can just pull it straight back. And then you can go down to the last cut indicator. And you can see that, ah. That, this was that, the, oh, yeah, okay, that, yeah, I have that, that was, one. And then, was my then last position. Hmm? Yeah. Then we should remove that. No, one. you can, okay, you can keep, continuing. keep on going. Okay, good. You'll notice that there's no big difference oh, okay. when no. it's resting on it. Mm. And we knew from before the question we got was uh, someone That's asked about the ah, height. Mm. So we know that we can get eight inches in so I could do a, a bit more. So we have two more cuts to do mm. and we have two here. So, so I, that's can, four. We, so we, we can do, we could our, do one we, more. We, no, two more. We could do the two last cuts and keep okay. the boards on and just take away everything when they're ready. That's good. It's good that you can do that because the, otherwise it, it, it takes a lot of... Then you can do like four, <coughs> four quick cuts. And yeah, then. I mean, I don't know what... It depends on... If you're two mm. milling all the time, mm. someone can yeah, actually, then run can, the mill mm. and someone can take away the, mm. the boards. Of course, these ones are, are quite heavy. Mm. It's a lot of work yes. to take mm. them uh, by yourself. Uh, but of course, when you can just mill everything and then take it away, you mm. need to take it away anyway. So I don't know how much you gain. Yeah, but it's still, then you can keep it going and, yeah. and go back and forth and, and exactly. then you, you do four and then you remove a thing and yeah. start from the beginning. So we'll, we'll try that. Two last in one yeah, go. In, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. And up there, oops.
and then back to the to the last cut. Like, but then. Like yeah, but sometimes when you when you forget what turn, yeah, what way you're going when you're going with the saw head up. If you lower oh, it okay. a little bit, then, then you, pu you push it. you mm. push that up mm. a little. But it's still. But the but still, you know that we're hitting those, so it still reminds you where where to mm. go. Yep. Like that. Yeah. This is where it shows now if we can fit everything in. Easy. So basically now we're splitting the last plank. Now hoping that, that these uh, are too. Yeah, those those will go free. Hopefully. <laughs> like that? Yeah, that's it. Then go. Go for it. Ready? Way to go! Yeah. Well done. So uh, lift it up mm -hmm. and take it back there. I think it's easier to yeah. uh, remove the uh, the boards, planks, boards, boards, planks. Andreas, both you and I have got some uh, greetings from Slovakia again. From Slovakia? Yeah. Rado. Ladislav. Rado. No, Ladislav. Ladislav. Yeah. Ladislav. Mm. Hi. Hi. I thought it was Rado first. Yeah. But we have Ladislav as well. Yes, we have. Our best client from Slovakia. Absolutely. What is the price on the machine? Uh, if you go to lugosul.com and look for the bandsaw mills and the B751 Pro, you can find the prices on all uh, two different versions, the electric one and the petrol one. And if you want to see any other prices, you can find everything online on our homepage. And also contact information to dealers and di distributors. And exactly. Uh, you can, if you go to lugosul.com, uh, you can find the contact details to us here in Härnösand, Sweden. Uh, if you want to send an email to us, you email to info at logosul.com. And of course, if we have a dealer or distributor in your country, you can find the contact information for them there as well. So, Anders, how did that feel? It was fun. <laughs> you I want, want to, to continue. You want to saw me now? Yeah. Okay. So Great. We'll, can I buy uh, this one? Logs. <laughs> 
Claudia, can you make him a quote afterwards? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So we can, yeah, we can make him a great offer. <laughs> yeah. So do you have a place to have it? Uh, that's, uh, I think I'll arrange something. Oh, mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. Very good. Then I just need the, the timber to, or the logs to something to cut. Yeah, but that's the easy part, okay. I think. You can find timber everywhere. Yep. Just, just look around. Yeah. <laughs> So what was what was uh, difficult? What was easy? Um, it was I think from to get the the feeling mm -hmm. in the speed. Yeah, it, it, I was I was more mostly I wouldn't say scared, but but uh, uh, afraid how fast. And but it's just then it was just walking. Yeah, I mean that I don't know. It, maybe I was afraid to to go too fast or something. Yeah, and the only thing that happens that goes to when you go too mm -hmm. fast is that the blade starts. You have you have two. Um, on the blade guide rollers, there are two edges that prevent the blade from going okay. off all the way back. And of course, when the blade can cut in its own pace and mm. just take away the, the sawdust mm. and everything, and you feed it in the same speed all the yeah. time, you, you will get a perfect mm. result. But as soon as you start pushing too hard, yeah. and the blade, the back of the blade goes against the, the edges like in the back, you will start like forcing mm. the blade through instead of cutting, mm. cutting okay. the, the the blade taking mm -hmm. its own, I mean, taking away speed in mm -hmm. its own material. So it's 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 a bit yeah, that's, tricky, yeah. but better to to be yes. safe than sorry mm -hmm. and just push it a bit slower. Mm -hmm. And then you can, when you use it for a while, you get a good feeling. Yeah, but I, I, but we, I thought you had a good feeling yeah, already I for it. I think that was what I was scared of, or yeah. so to say, to, to be, to, to uh, do wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's... it's but it was, yeah. it, you, you kind of get the feeling you get the feeling quite yeah, yeah. quite fast mm. and and i thought that the, the speed was quite uh, perfect quite perfect <laughs> quite perfect very good and then i was now, also afraid that when i'm going back to yeah. to not lift to lift enough. it up yeah mm. and what could happen no nothing you mm. just the saw blade will just go into the log and mm. it, it'll stop yeah. so nothing more than that i think that was the the two Tricky part, tricky, the tricky part, and the, and the, then the the calculating what you need and so on. Or yeah, but it, uh, but it was easy with that uh, two inch. Uh, yeah, exactly. Guide. And mm. as 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 long as you have an idea what you want to do with it before, yeah, exactly. it's it's much easier to the the drawings I did from the beginning mm. or that was prepared was actually when you know that it's easy to just. Kind of okay. What 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 do what type of yeah, uh, I want, sizes do I want? Yeah, and then, ex exactly. Mm. You you know it, and you can just start milling mm. instead of start milling and, and then, then trying to. to uh, I think I'll do a one inch, one by eight mm. inch board here, and then I want to do something else. So it's better to to, 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 to prepare think it what you want first. What you want. Mm. So. Do we have any questions? Yes, more questions. More questions, very good. Uh, are there any differences between the saw, this saw and the bigger one other than the increased width? Uh, no, not, not really. It's, uh, the biggest difference is the increased width. Uh, the B1001 can take uh, logs that are up to one meter in diameter and it has a board width of 85 centimeters and also the water tank is uh, of course a bit <laughs> a bit bigger 10 liters uh, in the b1001 other than that the accessories accessories we're developing for the b1001 will also be since it's the same not exactly the same but it's the same uh, core components in the mm carriage or in the rail system between the B751 Pro and the B1001. So all accessories that we are developing for the B1001 uh, will be adapted so that uh, we can sell them for the B751 Pro as well. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, what is the feeling when the blade is uh, becoming dull? Uh, the feeling, uh, that's actually a bit, uh, it's a bit different between a chainsaw mill and a bandsaw mill. On a bandsaw mill, you don't feel it as clear as you do on a chainsaw mill. A chainsaw mm. mill has a bigger curve. Uh, it takes away about a quarter of an inch, um, roughly six millimeters. And when a chain starts to get dull, it goes harder and harder and gets really warm. 
but in the benzo mill, um, you don't feel it right away. You mainly see it afterwards if you if you don't change the blade at a regular interval. You can actually see that the blade starts to deviate a bit in the log. So uh, my best advice for a benzo mill is to replace the blade before it's dull and I mean, rather do it on a regular <laughs> interval basis mm. than just wait until it's too late. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> yeah. Replace before it's dull. Yeah. yeah. It's. I mean, it, but it's it's tricky. You can, but you can feel it. You can hear it as well. Mm. But and, and you you see on the on the on you the, see on the, the surface. Okay. But then it's too late. Yeah, but then then <laughs> no. don't cut too much. No, exactly. No, I mean, it's it's good practice to to replace the blade yeah. three times a day or okay, so that's two times a day mm. or four mm. times a day so that you know that mm. you always have a sharp mm. blade. Yep. That's all? That's it? Yes. Thank you so much for watching. No, we, we have to... <laughs> 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 you do doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. For, it was fun. Uh, it was uh, great to have you here. Yeah. Great job. Uh, so this is... Ah, uh, hmm. Uh, nice. I don't know what they are called in English. Thermos mug? Thermos mm. cup. Cup, yeah. Thermal. Yeah. Logosol. Thermal. Great. Thermal cup. Great to have your coffee when yeah. you are milling. Yeah, perfect. And a cool Logosol yeah. t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Anders, mm. for joining Thanks. us. Uh, it was great to have you here. I hope you all found it interesting. Uh, we actually did some milling today, mm. both on the Swedish live stream and now on the English live stream. Uh, milled up a complete uh, log on both and we got out, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. two by tens, real massive planks mm -hmm. that we're going to use for something, I hope. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.